what a wonderful opening semi-final for us here this evening in Kuching. The world number one, Tai Su Ying, the former champion, through to a third final here at the Malaysia Open. Next up is women's doubles, then it's men's singles, and the 11-time champion, Li Chong Wei, trying to make it through to a 13th final. And then it's the second of the women's singles and two medalists from Rio Olympic Games last year. And then we finish with men's doubles, Gideon and Sukamoljo. Uh, of course, they are former world number ones. Next week, they will be number ones once more. So, with women's doubles being our next match, a chance for us to look at the draw from the quarter-final stage. Only four different nations, four Chinese pairs, two Japanese pairs. Well, the two Japanese pairs made it through to the top half of the draw, where they did battle earlier today. And the Olympic gold medalists were beaten by Fukushima and Hirota in two straight games. From the four Chinese pairs, we were down to one at semi-final stage, and that's the match we're about to watch. It is Wang Ya Xiong and Tang Jinhua against the All England champions, Zhang Yena and Li So China. Tang Jinhua and Wang Ya Xiong. Wang Ya Xiong is already through to finals day because in the mixed doubles, she and Liu Kai have won their semi-final earlier today. They've won the first two Super Series events of the year in the mixed doubles. This women's doubles pair have only ever won one Super Series tournament. That was the French Open two years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Korea, Zhang Yina and Lee So Hee. The left and right-handed combination of Zhang Yina and Lee So Hee. Winners of the All England Championships last month. Today in their quarter-final in a repeat of the All England final, and beat the Olympic silver medalists Pedersen and Yule. But this Chinese pair, as the umpire conducts the toss of the coin, Tio Kiangju of Malaysia, a Chinese combination making her very welcome return to form after terrible injury woes to Tang Xinhua. Withdrew from seven events last year, Chinese combination. Hoping beyond hope that they would be fit again, but it wasn't to be. Well, there is the lady who's already through to one final. Can she make it two finals? The 23-year-old Wang Ya Xiong. Born in Guizhou in Xijian province, that's the southwest of the province in East China. And she and her partner have been as high as 12. But of course, Tang Jinghua has been world number one with Bao Yi Sin. And it was with Bao Yi Sin that she won the title here. Three years ago, 2014, they won the final, beating the now Olympic champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi, in a wonderful final, lasting an hour and 21 minutes. It was three thrilling games, I remember that. So the Chinese uh, pair, well, uh, they've put out former winners, the 2015 winners, the number six seeds, the identical twin sisters, Luo Ying and Luo Yu, in the second round. And then, of course, Bao Yi Sin was Tang Jinghua's former partner with whom she won this title. This year, Bao Yi Sin has been playing with Yu Xiao Han. They were qualifiers, but beaten in yesterday's quarterfinal. So to the left-hander, the 27-year-old from Seoul, Zhang Yena. She and her partner are currently number four in the world ranking, which is a career high. It's their second spell 
at a career high four and it's their 13th week in total. Now Zhang Ye Na, she has also been in a final here at the Malaysian Open. Now, that was in 2015 with Jung Kyung Ung. And that's when they lost out to the identical twin sisters of Luo Ying and Luo Yu. Li So He is just 22 years of age from Ulsan. And she has had a very successful partner in the past with Shin Sung Chan. But as far as their results so far in this tournament, they weren't troubled too much in the first two rounds, although they were very, very good pairs they played against. It was yesterday's quarterfinal against the number two seeds, the Olympic and World Championship silver medalists, Pedersen and Ruta Yul, where it went the full distance. This is only the second meeting between the two pairs. The last time they met was, in fact, last week in the very first round in India. And it was Huang Yaxiong and Tang Jinghua who won in two straight games, as you briefly saw, in 44 minutes. And, of course, that was one of the big surprises on day one of competition in one Delhi. Huang Yaxiong and Tang Jinghua, China. And on my left, Chang Yina and Lee So Hee, Korea. Chang Yina to serve to Tang Jin Hua. Level play. So the All England champions, the number five seeds from Korea, Jang Ye Na and Lee So Hee, getting this semi final underway. Well, Steve, we know how well. Wang Yaxiong has been playing because she's won the All England and the Indian Super Series, the two Super Series tournaments played so far this year, and she's through to the final tomorrow of the mixed doubles. But isn't it lovely to see Tang Jinghua back to good form again? Of course, a former world number one, as we saw from the stats earlier. Yeah, it is. I think she's back to form, but probably not in her top form yet. So. Um, Hopefully we can expect even more from uh, these two girls in the future. Ah! Oh, that's Born in Nanjing, Tanjing Wa, which has recently been announced as host for the 2018 Two. Total World Championships. Yeah, that's right. Eighteen and nineteen are settled now. Nineteen in Basel and Switzerland. Yeah. There's no World Championships in 2020 because of Olympics in Tokyo. Go for you go for pushing it five centimeters longer than uh, the front court player believes it's going to be, and we can see that was perfect. That uh, Lee so he just too late found out that she might be able to return it. Do we know exactly what the injury was to Tang Xinhua? I can see that her right ankle is heavily strapped, and of course, she's got that bandage on her right knee. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it was. Yeah, but to enter seven tournaments last year and have to pull out of seven, six yeah. of them were actually Super Series events. Japan, Korea, Denmark, France, China, Hong Kong, and then pulled out of Macau as well. So she was obviously hoping that she was going to be recovered in time, yeah. but just wasn't. Troublesome. Uh, of course, all injuries is uh, sad, but uh, knee injuries tend to be serious, and especially also if you get something under your foot, 
uh, ankle injuries and so on, you can you can get a long way with taping and, and so on. It doesn't prevent you from playing for so long, but knee and, and, and below the foot, that's that's not nice because you can't really uh, sort of protect it. Yeah. It was amazing when they won the French Open two years ago, Steen, 2015. Seven, it was only three. ever their second tournament together. Yeah, they were switching the pairs around a bit Yeah. back then in order to try and find some uh, good combinations for the Olympics. in Paris it's the only time they've been in a Super Series semi-final prior to today. Oh, oh she missed it. It's interesting that um, they won the last uh, encounter between them, uh, the Chinese pair, because that was in India, right? Yes, first right. round last week. So the three pairs that are left, the Chinese have beaten the Koreans, but have lost to the uh, Japanese pair who's already in the final, Fukushima and, and Hirota. So I'm not really sure about the head-to-head uh, -head between the Koreans and the Japanese, but I guess the Japanese will be rooting for the Chinese pair to win this match. from Coach Pan Lee. a good rally. Oh. Oh, that was a little wide, wasn't it? Eleven, it was. seven, seven. So a four-point advantage 
to the unseeded pair of Tang Jinghua and Wang Yaxiong. Specific quick advice from Han Lee. Korean coach is Oraku Min. Now, were they playing in the same era, the two coaches? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, may, I noticed Oraku Min a lot more than Pan Lee, so I can't really say exactly when she was playing. 11. Exchange. Service over eight twelve. Played in the early 90s, uh, Pan Lee. Yeah. Lost to a certain uh, Julie Bradbury and her partner in All England in 1992. <laughs> and who would that be? What on earth happened to her? About G. M. <laughs> Clark or something like that. <laughs> I thought I'd played against Pan Lee. Yeah. Hey. <coughs> <coughs> Had a player identification number of 424. And now we're about uh, 50,000 or something yes. like that. So um, yeah. lucky she was in on the uh, tournament software system. And that means a little ahead of uh, Ra Kyung Min's era. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> yeah. I just get the impression that the Bruins are beginning to find their rhythm more yeah and I thought in Delhi I know you weren't there and I obviously wasn't commentating on uh, their encounter last week but I did see some of it and I felt that uh, the Koreans just uh, didn't look to be working well as a pair no it's also a, it's a tough first round draw yeah. in, a, in a super series tournament we can see that because they're standing here in the, in the semi-final of a premier so um, and if you haven't played them and you just come from the All England as the All England champion and feels like, uh, hey, we're really, really good. And then somebody had forgotten to tell those two Chinese girls that uh, they're up against the All England champions. And they're just very, very eager to beat you. So 
Of course, you go home and have a look at the video, and uh, the ones losing always have the most things to learn, in my opinion, from, yeah. from the video. And also, I suppose, the motivation of a player that's been out injured for so long, Tang Jinghua, when yeah. you eventually do get back into tournaments, you're so eager to play a game. And, and especially now, I, I felt that when they first started playing before she got injured, I, I didn't feel that they had the, uh, they weren't the top Chinese um, women's doubles. They weren't the ones that they were betting on in the Chinese team. But right now, in my opinion, everything is open. I, I don't think that they've found the right combinations yet in China for women's doubles. We've seen Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan uh, win tournaments, but. Um, haven't been that impressive in, in mm. this tournament, in my opinion. So, so there's a, a good chance of um, making a, a career for yourself there. And I yeah. also think that the success that Huang Yachong has had in mixed double, eventually it will rub off in women's doubles. Yeah, I agree completely. And there might be some thinking that uh, there's an, a very, very good um, camaraderie and training environment in, in such a, a women's doubles team or men's doubles team and so on. And I can tell you that it's it's um, it's a two-edged sword because on one, on one hand, they're very, very good training uh, compatriots and so on. Mm. But on the other hand, they are fierce competitors yeah. because they compete for the same um spots the same money the same uh, selections yeah because if you're not selected to even go to the tournament you can't you've, win got it. To, you've got to be in it to win it oh my goodness um, initially what reactions from tang jinhua immediately for the good fortune. He is so he. than that follow-up smash there. We saw it also in one of the earlier rallies from the mid-court. Yeah, it was almost an upward smash. Yeah. Interesting first game here, and I feel that this is uh, crunch time. Remember that very often in women's doubles, it's actually not as um, 
much a disadvantage as in the other categories to play with the drift because you get a little bit of help on your attack. Oh, that's a nice that's angle. Good. And good variation, yeah. very good variation there. And I think that's needed for the Korean pair to uh, penetrate the Chinese defense. Totally unexpected for uh, Chang Jinhua because it was to the backhand side of the front court player of Chang Yina. Right in the corner. Perfect placement. has not found the rhythm on her low serve. She's been, it's been quite loose. It wasn't the start of that rally again. And from that moment on, they were on the defensive. the back level. Six of the last eight points. Oh, brilliant Good defense play. again. Well, she did that in one of the opening rallies, didn't she? That beautiful block defense. It's the second rally of 28 shots. Is that the longest so far? No, it might have been. when you're a little bit tense in a tight situation like this. That's when you are really, really tested. So 19 all. Very sharp. Well, yes, young. Chinese player who have a game point opportunity. Yeah, right about that serve, Jill. Yeah. Yeah, she's struggling, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. 
20 all. Extra points. Young. So a second game point opportunity for the Chinese combination. They convert. Second time of asking. 22-20. Opening game lasting 24 minutes. <laughs> Quite satisfied with that um, game win and the. In the picture here, Huang Ya Chong has just gone out to Coach Pan Lee to clarify something, probably something that the two Chinese girls were discussing, as we saw them before. Of course, if you haven't played for a long time, which is the case for the two Chinese girls, as um, Tang Jin Wan has been out with injury for so long, there's a number of um, agreements that you just have to refresh and also adjust according to the pairs that you're playing. Now we're just waiting for the umpire to get the touchpad working. There we go, I think it's good now. I wonder if was playing a little Play. game on it here in the uh, <laughs> interval between the first two games. Have to quit Tetris. Same shot, look. 
They're very lucky they didn't hit each other. <laughs> that could have been nasty. Smash at Sung Jin Hwak. Yeah, she's been a very good women's doubles player with many different partners. She's won 12 Super Series titles with four different women's doubles partners. 12 Super Series, that's a little bit of a surprise to me. Wow. Bao Yixin, Kwang Ya Chong. Charge Kwan. She won the uh, China Masters of 2011. With? Xiao Huan. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's three. Who's, who's the last one? Ma Jin, Ma Japan. Jin. Ma Jin, of course. 2013. Yeah, yeah. That would, of course, suit her perfectly. Ma Jin taking care of the front court yeah. and uh, Tung working the back court. She did have an incredible 2013 Tang Jin 11 finals, six titles. Five with Bao Yasin and one with Ma Jin. Yeah, I thought she had a really, really good um, women's doubles with uh, Bao Yixin. Uh, mm. And then they went into some championships as top seeds and, and didn't really deliver. And I don't know if that, um, I heard rumors that they, they were personal. Uh, differences as well but um, eventually they split up yes that's right it was the world championships in Copenhagen 2010 2014 they went in as top seeds didn't they, they were top seeds they yeah. lost their first match yeah. which they had actually had a bye so it was the round of last 32 and they lost to a wonder and Harris of Indonesia, two very talented Indonesian players, but it was a big surprise yeah. because they had been so dominant, Bao Sin and Tang Xinghua. There's a look at the same story with Bao Sin and Tang Yuan Ting. Mm. And before they split up, they were also quite dominant and yeah. then lost one match to another Chinese pair. And Seem to never get back together again, and I feel that uh, I actually feel still that uh, if Li Yongbu has the uh, phone number of Tang Yuanting, I definitely would give her a call. Yeah. To ask her what she's doing here in um, May. She fancy a trip to Gold Coast. Yeah. They they could definitely need her in the in the Chinese team. I'd ask her what she's up to until the Rio Olympics. <laughs> 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 Five, four. I mean, you and I, I can remember discussing that Chen Xing Cheng and Tang Huan Ting as a yeah. pair. That I, I, we saw them in um, in Yuba Cup where they secured yeah. the victory for China, and I felt that if they paired up together, they would be almost unbeatable. Yeah. yeah. That is over. Five, four. the first time that China didn't win a medal in um, women's doubles at the Olympics. Yeah. First time, I think, that they didn't have a, a pair in the women's doubles final. Yeah. Okay. I feel if the Koreans can um, get the attack and, and be patient in the attack, they have a good chance of um, of pulling this off. Um, a lot of it, in my opinion, um, 
falls on uh, Lee So he she's been looking a bit nervous and making some odd mistakes in the first game. And of course, it also depends a little bit on on Tang Jinhua, who's uh, who's been the more vulnerable player on on the Chinese side. Koreans, they have a read that the Chinese pair is not um, playing a short defense. But if that's the case, then the front court player needs to the, the Korean front court player needs to uh, come backwards and help in the uh, attack. Very important. Otherwise, you're a little bit left out of the game. Disturb the defensive rhythm of Tang Jinghua. Looked to be a bit of a miss hit that smash. Yeah. situations where I feel the, the Koreans they misunderstand each other a little bit and, and that's that's astonishing I mean they've just won the All England so it's it's not a new pair or anything no no in fact they formed their partnership at the Hong Kong Open in 2014 oh my word what a shot Seven, oh, that's absolutely brilliant. You won't see better than that. Attendance coming on to mop up the perspiration. Match in progress, already 36 minutes. Shot from the left hander, Jung Yen up, and to the mid game interval with a four point advantage. Thank you. 
And she's very proactive Eight, on court 11. now, Wang Yaxiong. She's yeah, grown she in is. confidence. And, and she's, she's the player that um, the Koreans need to worry about. She's the one doing the damage most of the times. to get into the better position for the Chinese pair. Huang Yachong moving forward here. 30, I like the eight. play. The execution wasn't that good, but I like the idea. It's called out. Challenge. Yes, there's a challenge here. I was looking at um, Sang Chen Wai. She was raising her left arm. I thought she was challenging. It uh, was called long. Well, I think Yanpa should probably have a word with Sang Chen Wai to say don't try and influence the line judge because I felt it was going in. We, of course, are uh, the far end of the court from where the shuttle lands. Oh, it's a long way out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. That is over. 9.30. Play. Good work, isn't it, from Wang Yaxiong? Oh, two very powerful smashes. above the waist. Not exactly what she needed. David Wong, also this judge. So that's going to put even more pressure on her low serve. Oh, 
holding the serve quite a long time, uh, Chang Yin, uh, almost like Christina Pedersen. Good attack by Hong uh, Ye Chong and uh, Tang Jin Wat. Oh. Good decision. Think about it and turn back the Korean side. Got the choice. Looking a little bit nervous, Lee So Lee. I think she, I, I think she did in the first game, and then until the last two rallies, I felt that she's been playing well here in, in the second. But um, Very, very well to control that downward yeah. shot. Wang Yaxiong. He's been the best player on court today, in my opinion. Wang Yaxiong. Of course, also playing already the second match of today, so. Um, got the touch. Won the mixed double semi final.
against um, Ahmad and Nasir, right? That's correct. Very, very quick opening game, too. Oh, that's sweet. Well, that will certainly help settle the nerves, if indeed she was nervous. Teammates. In fact, I'm sure I saw Jung Jae Jung Sung, one of the coaches here. I haven't seen him courtside though. No. Probably a physical coach. <laughs> very, very good physical shape when oh, he was playing. Yes, it was. Point opportunities to level this semi final. Uh, one game apiece. Oh, dear, dear me. Some of this error. Yeah. Tang Jinhua to serve. Mm. Lots of pressure on that now. Mm, but she served well. Saved, but another two remain. Good shot. This time. The Koreans convert 21 18, and it is one Second game all. 51 minutes already. Well, this is going to be a very, very interesting deciding game. Doubles titles here did Laura Kimin, Korean coach, 2000 and 2003. With Kim Dong Moon, who's now her husband. Yeah. They didn't lose a lot of matches. I, I heard a rumor that they only lost about eight matches in the Korea. As many as that? Yeah. I thought it was less than that. It was an incredible partnership when they had, but wasn't it? It was. 20 seconds. 20 seconds.
So third and deciding game. from Lee so he Tricked herself more than anything, Tang Jing Wah. Really played her partner into trouble. Guys drop. Three, yeah, you're right, Joe. You know, just checked on Rakung Min and Kim Dong Moon. Seven losses altogether in their career. Rakung Min has to 12 losses altogether in mixed doubles. Two with uh, Park Joo Pong and um, two with uh, Hwang Sun Ho. Yeah. Incredible. 12 losses in your whole mixed doubles career, that's amazing. Yeah. There's a challenge. There is indeed a challenge. Only second challenge as a match. Ooh, now was that an aching arm? She was just trying to loosen up. See who hit it? Was it uh, Chung Yin? I think it was a left hander. Yeah. yeah. Out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, she's loosened up a little bit, uh, Lee. So he very very powerful smash there. You could hear the the good sound. Thank you. 
Inspiration there from Lisa Rahim. She very, very nearly made it. Look, Wang Yaxiong was covering. She's in, I know we've already talked about it, but she's improved her movement so much. Yeah. And I feel a lot of uh, the Chinese chances here in this match hangs on her. She's got to make the difference. It's another point there. Four, five. So he's doing all the work so far. Yeah. There we go, there's a switch. This has got to be the longest run of the match so far, isn't it? Good shot, good shot. Sensational final shots from Lee Sohi. Yes. Min was excited. That means it must have been a good rally. Yeah. What but a final shot. Exactly what I was calling for with uh, Lee Sohi, that she is going to use some more variation in her attack. If she doesn't penetrate in the beginning, use some variation instead of using straight smashes. It's worked for the Koreans against these two girls earlier on in the match, but it's normally Chang Yin Na who sort of uh, creates the variation in the attack. Well, once again, Tang Jinghua just raising her arm to indicate to the line judge. I'm very surprised that the umpire. You see that? Yeah. Really indicating she thought it was out. Now, the umpire should, I think, probably have a little word and say, please don't do that. I'm not sure that she influenced on that occasion. I think it was the correct call anyway, but you can't be seen to be trying to influence a line call.
blind. Would have been Seven. wide, in my opinion, oh. on uh, the Korean side had uh, he no. saw he left it. This one. Yeah, yeah I agree. Nice. Oh, good rally. Oh, brilliant! A wonderful change of direction from Tang Jingwa when under severe pressure. Phase where there's a lot of preparation before the rally is so important to be sharp on all your shots. Deciding game now to be 10 8 up. It's another long line, isn't it? 31 shots. Landed in. So a two-point advantage for Huang Yaxiong and Tang Jingwa as they change hands in this deciding game. Still a very difficult one to call, Steve. Yeah, it is because um, the Koreans get to the better side of the court right now and um, I still feel that right now the momentum is with the Chinese because they came back from that 0-4 deficit. Yeah. So they are 
practically up 11-5. And they must also have a new idea coming to the far side of the court. So, but but uh, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't set a cup of tea on that. No. I'm just trying to think, Steen. I don't want to preempt things, but it is just occurring to me. Has Wang Yashiong ever contested the two nine. Super Series finals at the, at the same Wait. Super Series event? I don't think I she don't has. I don't think so. I no. don't think so. I think the only women's doubles final she's been in was that French, wasn't it? And she wasn't in the final of the mixed doubles there. No. Mixed doubles wasn't um, that open as it is right now. It was dominated yeah. by... Chang Nan and Jia Yun Lei, Amar Natsia, Shu Chen Majin, and uh, Fish and Pedersen. Oh, brilliant. Well, it was that backhand from Tang Jinghua that absolutely changed the rally. Look at that. That's magnificent. Well, umpire feels that the shuttle may have been interfered with, I think. That's telling Tang Xinhua to change it. Yes, I'd challenge that. That looks as if it was in to me. And definitely one you want to second look at yeah. when it's this close in the deciding game. Huge difference between 13-9 or 10-12. Yeah, very, very important. And she steadied her serve. Tang Jinhua. shot from Chang Ye no, was pretty good. The shuttle was tumbling. And yet Wang Yashiong just brushed it off the top of the tape. Very, very important for the Koreans. But they still look uncertain, and when they attack, they it seems like they they're not really comfortable on court and, and doesn't know what each other is covering. But I agree. In order to stay in this game, they needed to score that point, and from a Korean point of view. Hopefully a couple more. Yes, that's 
well worked. Pan Lee, Chinese coach, was indicating you've got to get it away from the net there. Yeah. They insist the Chinese pair. Good attack. Directed towards that right hip of the right hander. I don't think defense is going to win this match. Down 16 7 now since that 4 0 lead. Sorry, Lee so here. Nice work in him. Yeah. Good work by Huang Yaxiong. Well, it's very much looking at the moment as if she will be contesting two finals tomorrow. And I've just checked, Steen. She has won a doubles double before. And that was in Malaysian Grand Prix Gold of 2014. Won the women's doubles with 
Yu Xiao Han and the mixed doubles with Liu Kai. Foregone conclusion yet, though. So. No, and, and you would think that uh, if they've been a little bit nervous, the Koreans, now is the time to loosen up because it seems like uh, it's very difficult and everything is almost lost. So just play all out, give what's left. Point opportunities for the unseeded Tang Xinhua and Wang Yashiong. Again, it was really drive defence there for the Koreans, saving the day. That was another five match point opportunities for the Chinese combination. This time, third match point opportunity, and Wang Yashiong and Tang Jinghua are through to a second Super Series tournament final, but a first Premier Super Series tournament final. The winners of the French Open in 2015 have a chance to win the Malaysian Premier tomorrow, having beaten the All England champions Zhang Yena and Lee So Hee in three games. 22, 20, 18, 21, 21, 16 in an hour and 23 minutes.
the atmosphere is building here in Kuching. This is the match coming up next that so many of the home fans have come to see. The world number one, Lee Chong Wei. 11 times he's won the Malaysian Open. He's been in the final 12 times. He's trying to get through to a 13th final and the man in his way is Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong. After the men's singles, we'll enjoy the second women's singles and then we'll finish off with men's doubles. So there's plenty more action to come. But as we look at the men's singles, we can see that Lin Dan of China, the five-time world champion, the two-time Olympic champion, is already through to the final. What a semi-final it was. An hour and 24 minutes against Song Wan Ho. And of course, Lin Dan, this is one of the few titles, major titles he's never won. Lin Dan in his fourth final, and he knows that so many of the fans would love to